So here we are at Computex 2014, still the very first day, and we are here uh, at, behind the Miramar Cinema. It's actually where I'm watching all the movies, uh, because Ford has this connected drive um, kind of parkour circuit. And um, these are two new EcoBoost Cougars, and obviously we're gonna check them out right now. So let's see what we have. What we'd like to demonstrate to you here is um, more or less the future of active safety driver assistant. Um, everything what we have in production today and in the near future is based on so-called conventional um, technology. All of those sensors have limitations because there's a certain opening angle and a certain range. Okay. And that means everything must be within this field of view of the sensor to be classified or it can be um, detected first and then classified as a valid object, vehicle, pedestrian, whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> what those sensors can't do is look around the corner like this. That means we have built up here this scenario, typical um, intersection, a critical um, accident scenario. And what we have done here and what we are doing in, in Ford research globally in North America and in Europe is we are working on so-called vehicle-to-vehicle um, and vehicle-to-infrastructure communication. What we are using here is a Wi-Fi technology. It's a, I will come to this in a, in a second. Uh, and within this Wi-Fi antenna on top of this, um, on the roof of this um, vehicle, we have a 360 carriage mm -hmm. and a range up to 500 meters. Nice. It's of course depend on if I'm an open area like this here or if I'm a more in a um, more narrow um, streets where you have buildings and the, um, the range is reduced. Okay, what we are doing here is the system, this is a small computer in the back and it's everything is prototype level still, um, is using vehicle information like steering wheel angle input, gas pedal, brake pedal, vehicle speed, transmission position and also we have a GPS antenna on top of this um, vehicle where we can, uh, where we exactly know where we are. <clears throat> With this um, antenna, of course, and, and some um, some intelligent algorithms, we will also um, identify our this um, broadcasting our past history and our past prediction. And that is what we are exactly doing with the. Uh, in that case, you could see the, the uh, at the corner there is our second vehicle, and both vehicles are connected to each other, and both vehicles are sending and exchanging information. And that means as soon as both vehicles are on a potential collision course and we are, and we are coming below a certain threshold, the so-called time to collision, then what you will see here in this HMI um, for this intersection movement assist scenario here, you will see in a second that this area here will change from gray to green first, that we have a valid object, then yellow, which means it's getting critical and as soon as it turns red, then you will also hear beep, beep, beep in the car that um, is a warning system and I have to um, reduce speed and apply the brake pedal. Yeah. Easiest would be I give you a first demonstration. Let's do it. Ready? This is the right? Yeah. Los? You could see I received oh, already right. a warning before I couldn't even see there someone is coming from yeah. the right. It means yeah. everything was obscured. Neither my eyes nor the vehicle could see that someone is coming from the right. The system detects this already because it receives information about the, um, the past prediction and we know exactly that potential collision is ahead and the system warns and informs me about I should be careful in applying the brake pedal. I will do it again. Okay, cool. Yeah. And los. You could see that I could easily and comfortable break down without any um, required uh, emergency braking and behavior from my yeah. side. What you could imagine with this technology. You could you could realize a lot of different scenarios. Like if someone is in, in my blind spot, if I would mm. like to do a lane change, I could get a warning. 
Um, also, um, if someone is doing emergency braking ahead to us, then the system will inform me and then I can slow down easily. And also we, we call it do not pass. That means if I'm a rural road and then I would like to overtake someone mm. uh, and I could not I could not directly see if someone coming on the ongoing in the um, it's coming from the different from the other direction and the system will inform me as well that do not pass because someone is coming from mm. the opposite direction. Um, what I mentioned at the beginning, V to V means not only uh, vehicle to vehicle, it only means vehicle to infrastructure. What is quite nice here on the traffic lights in Taipei, those are now green. As soon as they're turning red, you will see left to the red light um, number counting down, yeah. which indicates how long the red phase, the red light phase is. In the future, all the um, traffic lights um, of the infrastructure, you could see now 30 and it's counting down. Exactly this information will be broadcasted from the infrastructure of the future. The, the vehicle will receive the information about my driving direction and the oncoming um, traffic lights and can uh, and calculate the ideal and the best vehicle speed that have a green face always. Mm. That means um, it will improve the traffic flow in general. That means no unintended decelerations, accelerations anymore. That means I've better fuel consumption or less fuel, um, un un unintended uh, fuel consumption, uh, fuel, uh, lower fuel consumption. And um, what you could also imagine, of course, depend on penetration rate of such kind of technology is platooning. Mm. That means if I'm driving on a highway or an autobahn uh, and I only need a, a single lead vehicle and I can, if I, I know that this vehicle is also equipped with this technology, I could um, follow this activate the follow mode and then within a gap of one meter for example I could be in a kind of hands-free driving mode and the lead vehicle is doing everything for me because as soon as the driver starts decelerating or accelerating the information within milliseconds will be distributed to the other vehicle and then the vehicle will automatically adapt exactly the driving behavior a very efficient way to use the um, space on our, on mm. our free base autobahns in the future and also make it a quite relaxed um, behavior for, for the drivers. Um, we have prepared a second scenario here. You could still see my colleague in the other vehicle. He will start um, driving toward the end of the road and then stops there. And exactly his past history, as soon as I'm coming around the corner and the system detects I'm on a potential collision course, I will receive a so-called forward collision warning. And that is something what is today already in production based on radar technology or radar and camera fused together. But what you will experience here is that it will also change first um, green again, then yellow and red, and red combined with an, with an audible warning. That I'm just around the corner, that means normally no sensor at all could already classify and see um, that the vehicle ahead. The system gives me the warning. Yeah. Okay, first of all. It means I could easily slow down because I received quite early the warning yeah. and then it makes it quite um, quite easy for me to, 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 to cover the situation, to slow down with, again without un any unintended um, emergency braking from my side. That means a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. um, and um, what we are doing because of it doesn't make sense that only Ford will introduce this tomorrow. Um, that means um, we have to ensure that we can communicate to all our other um, OEMs. That means we, have, we, have, we need to um, understand what an VW is telling us and to communicate to an Audi and, uh, and Mercedes. Therefore, we are working either uh, on both sides of the ocean, in, in, in North America and in Europe, in consortiums where all OEMs um, are working together to agree and to, do, to discuss the right standard of communication, the right protocol. And what I mentioned at the beginning, yes, we're using it's it's Wi-Fi, but um, of course, for two reasons we have modified this. The first reason is, of course, um, there's no requirement to transmit HD quality videos. That means huge data packages. Um, it's more important that we are fast, low system latencies, and a range, and range. Yeah. Um, but the what is really important here is that this uh, intersection scenario must be very right fast. That means right. There's no time at all. To, within milliseconds, we need to know is this critical, is this valid or not. Mm -hmm. This is one 
um, one area where we have modified um, the Wi-Fi protocol and the second one is of course security. Mm -hmm. um, we have to ensure that no one is hacking into our system um, that would create any um, unintended ghost targets, objects mm -hmm. around and therefore this is um, um, certain frequencies out of the complete frequency band which we are using um, exactly for our um, automotive applications. Um, also, what is uh, I think important to mention here, I think it's quite easy to demonstrate this here with two vehicles equipped. Um, what will happen if I would drive outside and it would be quite difficult to meet my colleagues somewhere in this um, downtown Taipei again to demonstrate it. Therefore, the industry must, I would say, introduce it together mm -hmm. and it needs to be, um, in America it's uh, driven by um, governance, by law. Uh, potentially, uh, which will trigger the, the introduction of um, vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication. In Europe, it's more competition, <clears throat> but um, we are also working in Europe on a consortium which is forcing to introduce this also within the next couple of years. And then, over time, market penetration starts increasing. And um, even at the beginning, we do see use cases where we have customer benefit. For example, approaching of a traffic jam end of a traffic jam. You don't need all hundreds of vehicles equipped with the technology, just a few are already sufficient. I receive the information and I can uh, inform and warn the driver, slow down, there's a traffic jam ahead or construction zones. And what is also um, my favorite is emergency vehicle approaching. In dense traffic, you hear an emergency vehicle, but you don't know if it's coming from left, right, front, rear, is it valid for me or not? And, if this, uh, and the emergency vehicles will be equipped um, at the beginning directly with this technology. And then as soon as I, I uh, on the system in, our, in my vehicle here receives the information and can give me information, please um, drive to the right and then give a, uh, build a free um, lane to the left that the emergency vehicle can pass. Mm -hmm. well, it's quite obvious. Pretty cool.